Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. Again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before we get into some Major League Baseball action for Monday, um, June the 10th, I want to invite you to join. You'll have access to the VIP club section. You see all these tools here across the top that will help you make your picks and make you successful with your bets. Okay, so the Major League Baseball season is about 40% of the way complete. And we got about another month before the All-Star break, so things are really starting to heat up. We're going to take a look at uh, five games for June the 10th. And we're going to get started with Baltimore Orioles and the Tampa Bay Rays. In this AL East battle, the Orioles come in average down. They're second place in the division. Uh, they are 3-3 three and three over their last six games. And Tampa Bay is burning hot, winners of four out of their last six, and winners of three straight. If you look at the over-under, the teams have been trending in games over the line. You can see a combined eight out of the last 12 have been over the line. The score prediction has Tampa Bay by a single run, but a higher scoring contest, 7-6. Confidence in the predictions, riding here at around 60%. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, Tampa Bay on a, on a steep upward trend over the last week from 10 up to 17, or 25, excuse me. And Baltimore on a decline from 25 down to 13 over the last few days. Head-to-head-wise, uh, -head see that the teams played yet this season. They have they played three games earlier this season in Baltimore, with Baltimore winning two out of three games and two of those games were lower scoring games of four runs and seven runs take a look at the volatility oscillator we want to see how consistent the teams have been this is consistency with regard to their favorite underdog stats you see baltimore not very consistent for quite some time but uh lately you can see a very consistent they are now plus 13th this season and tampa bay has been inconsistent all year they are at zero So the Rays are fourth in the division, 31 and 31. I think that's they're going to um, continue their hot streak. I think this is going to be a win for Tampa Bay, even though Baltimore has a better record. They have not been playing as good lately. I like Tampa Bay here at home to win in a game over the line. Colorado and Minnesota, we won't look at that one. We're going to look at the Yankees and the Royals. This is actually the featured game. Um, the Yankees... The best team in the in the league right now, burning hot. They have won their last eight. And Kansas City, ice cold up two and four over their last six. But they're still a solid second place in their division. Um, the over-under, you can see the games have been mostly over the line for these two teams. Ten out of the last 12 have been over the line. The score prediction, again, this is going to be definitely over the line if this score holds up nine to eight in favor of the Yankees. And 61% confidence in the prediction. We take a look here. Um, one thing to note is that the Yankees have a tremendous run differential at plus 118. That is the best in the league. On the power ranks indicator, the Yankees steady across the top here at plus 29. YC well, Kansas City is up and down, and they're up at plus 14. And they were at plus 5 as of June the 6th. Head-to-head wise, you see the teams have not yet met this season. The last game between these two teams was all, uh, October the 1st of last year. If you look at the stability factor, both teams have been pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status, coming in at plus 13 to plus 11 on the team volatility oscillator. So in the end, though, I think this is the Yankees. They continue their hot streak. There's really no signs of them slowing down. So let's go with the Yankees and over the line. Uh, the Blue Jays and the Brewers. This one should be another good game. Uh, the Blue Jays are burning hot at the moment. Winners of the last two, three and three over the last six. Well, Milwaukee's coming in average down, still in first place in the NL Central, but uh, they got swept by the Phillies in Philadelphia. Look at all those games, really low scoring pitchers, duels, and all of them. Uh, Milwaukee only hitting, getting two runs, though. And because of that, they've been trending in games under the line. And the Toronto has been trending in games over the line. The score prediction has Toronto by a 7-5 to five margin. The confidence in the prediction is pretty good here at 71%. On the power ranks indicator, look at Milwaukee sweep has steep decline over the last three days, like falling off of a cliff from 29 down to 9. But Toronto on the upward trend from 9 up to 23. Let's see if the two teams have met yet this season. They did not meet at all this season. Last season, Toronto won two out of three games uh, in Toronto. 
to see how consistent the teams are playing with regard to their favorite underdog stats. Again, this one here has Toronto at moderately stable at plus seven. See, for much of the season up to this point, they were not very consistent. Up and downward in their trend. Now they are on the back of the upward trend. Milwaukee, uh, pretty up and down as well. They have been more consistent over the last few days. And that's because they were underdogs in Philadelphia and they lost all three games. Um, Milwaukee is very good at home at 18 and 10, and Toronto is 14 and 17 on the road. So I like the Brewers this time to rebound uh, playing at home. I think this is going to be probably a two run contest, but I'm going to pass on the over under bet. Chicago and Seattle. Now, here's a uh, game with teams heading in opposite directions. The poor White Sox, dead stats, and losers of the last 14, and, and they're on pace to have the worst record in Major League Baseball history uh, since the expansion, 1960. Uh, yeah, but they're really doing very bad. Uh, Seattle burning hot at the moment, 5-1 uh, and one over the last six, and Seattle first place in their division. If you look at the over-under, the teams have been involved in games over the line in 10 out of the last 12. And not surprising, there's a 90% confidence in this score prediction of Seattle winning the game 8-5. to five. Um, We can take a look at a couple other things. But you can see where this prediction is heading. Uh, Seattle here at plus 17, while the White Sox are all the way at the bottom at 0. There's very, there's very little hope for the White Sox in this one. They're just 5-26 and 26 on the road. And let's go with Seattle easily in a game over the line. Next one we want to look at here is Houston and San Francisco. Uh, the Astros come in still struggling here, and uh, you know still well under 500 at 28 and 35, average down in three and three over the last six. And the Giants are dead up just one and five over their last six. If you look at the over under, the games have been mostly over the line. You can see here um, nine out of the last 12 games between the two teams over the line. The score prediction has Houston by a wide margin, 8-2. to two. Confidence in the prediction is at 56%. Houston is, like I said, 28-35 on the year, and San Francisco is 33, or excuse me, 30-33 and 33 on the year, and fourth in the NL West. If you look at the power ranks indicator, down at the bottom, uh, San Francisco, a slight upward trend to plus three over the last few days, and Houston, had a good streak going there. They increased from plus six up to plus 21, then dropped off a cliff down to plus 11 over the last couple of days. Uh, stability wise, uh, both teams moderately stable. You can see the up and downward trend. In the end, kind of an upward trend that of flattening off for the Giants. They're at plus six, and, and Houston is at plus seven. So, in the end, I do like the Giants in this one. I think this is going to be. Uh, kind of a rebound for them after their poor uh, performances lately. So I like the Giants in a game over the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for Major League Baseball for June the 10th. And again, happy betting. See you next time.